So it's been a heck of a week so far, driving out to Iowa, meeting up with my friends Ryan and Mike, and then also heading over to Kelderman's and picking up the 69 Charger 500 that we had worked a deal on with him earlier in the month. We're headed up to Kingsley, Iowa. We had a deal worked out for a, another 69 Charger 500 in the opposite direction, but that deal unfortunately fell through. Um, so we're uh, going to be meeting up with Richard Rollins. He's got a couple of Mustangs that uh, he found on his uh, million dollar challenge and it's pretty pretty remote area so um, we had we were checking in with him and he was talking about these these mustangs and so we figure we have a couple of empty trailers we, we could help them out since we're in the area and who knows maybe we could just buy them from him <laughs> we do that well and he sells cars well so that might work out for everybody so we'll see how this works All right, Tim, um, I think we're there, but the biggest thing for me is gonna be whether or not I can get these things loaded onto a trailer and get it all out of here. And uh, usually I'd come back uh, and make that happen, but uh, my buddies from Mopar literally just sold a couple of cars up here, dropped them off, and they saw that I was coming. So uh, I told them to head over here, and if I can make the right deal with them to ship them for me, then I think we can put it together. That sounds good. Cool. Let me go give them a holler and see what's up. Man, look at these guys rolling around, four-door ramp trucks, trailers. I gotta up my game. It's going down to the end, sir. What's happening? What's up? Just living the dream, man. Trying to buy some Mustangs. Every day, brother. How you doing, Richard? Doing good, man. Good to see you, brother. You guys just rolling around, dropping off cars, picking up cars. A little bit of that. We got a Charger 500 in the other one. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. We like picked a, that up from 69, 70? 69 Charger 500 we picked up from Kellerman last night. Oh, and, yeah. Because he's in Iowa. That's what we were out there That's for. what I've been to Iowa for. I was trying to remember why I've been to Iowa, and it was for the... Uh, Kane's bus. Yes, he sir. did the uh, hey. Kelderman setup on it. Right on. What's up? You remember up? my son, How's Davis? Yeah, yeah, that's right, Davis. How you guys doing? Good, man. Good. Awesome. So I got kind of a quirky deal. Um, God doesn't really want to talk price on camera. Uh, he asked to step aside and stuff like that. And you know me, I always show what's going on and, and all that kind of stuff. But since I'm all the way out here and uh, you guys happen to be in the neighborhood and can drag this shit back for me, um, I figured that uh, we just leave that part off if that's cool with you. Yeah. But uh, I can kind of, you know, we can step over here, wave the cameras. You guys are always in my face. <laughs> and uh, I can tell you where we're at. And, and uh, if we can make a deal, then everybody's happy, happy. Okay. All right, cool. Definitely. Let's go do Let's it. Let's do it. it. That's pretty cool that you guys happen to be within hundred miles of where I was anyways. And it's we almost, never come to Iowa. <laughs> I've only been here once or twice. I've only been here once. So this these is, are uh, Tim and Tim Troy. Travis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet and, you, Travis. Uh, Travis, I'm telling you. Yep. Nice you. These were the guys I was telling you, they do a lot of Mopar stuff. I mean, a lot of Mopar stuff and they were uh, dropping we love off them some all. cars. Yeah, yeah. we we're definitely not, love them We're all. not picky. Yeah. But they were dropping off some stuff uh, back in Sioux City or Nebraska or South Dakota or somewhere. I don't know. Everything's Iowa. within 90 miles yeah, of here. Yeah. We dropped a couple of cars off in Iowa and then we went and saw Kelderman and picked up a 69 Charger 500 that he'd been offering to sell us for quite a while. So it's in one of the trailers. And then so we, we saw had a, Richard. We had in. another deal worked out on the, well, we were trying to work a deal out on another Charger 500 and that kind of fell through. So then we had an empty trailer. Well, I know, but that's why you called me because I yeah. was like, man, if I can get these things out of here and uh, get them back. You brought Marty reports? Yeah. What you got, Home Slice? Look at that. Okay, that's a 68. This is this 70. This is a 70. This is actually a really r r relatively rare car with the color combo. It's not painted originally white. It was originally um, a blue, a pastel blue, but with blue interior, man, what a stunner that would have been. 
Yeah, what color blue did they call it? It's pastel, pastel blue. blue, but it's almost like a white. If you look really at like, if you Google pastel blue and see the color on a car, you're like, oh, that's white. But then when you get closer, it's like super faint, faint. I don't know blue. that I've ever heard of pastel blue. I yeah, never well, have either. Until they only built they built four hundred and in that trim they only built, built four forty six. I don't think that adds anything to it. Cover. I just never heard of <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, no, it's just neat. It looks like it adds considerable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we didn't mean to wreck your deal. <laughs> We're the home wrecker now. <laughs> no, man, no. So that's super cool. Hubcaps, trim rings. And that one's a GT. 68302 GT. That's a pretty cool car, too. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah J code. So it's got uh, the, the four barrel V8. Yeah, yep. 302. And, uh, but it's an automatic. Gulfstream Aqua, which most of it is. Yep. I've never heard of pastel blue. Neither have I. It's a cool color. Yeah. Man, but the blue on me. the blue interior, I mean, there's not a lot of them that have blue interior yeah. either. So and the 70 right here was sold just up the street. Both of them. Yeah, well, the other one came, the other this one. one came from Ohio. This was short. Not far, I mean. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know any part of this. This, uh, was, this was short piece Sioux Falls. This one. Yeah. One of them was yeah. Sioux Falls, Falls. yeah. Ben Hur. Wasn't that like a <laughs> movie or something? <laughs> ben Hur Ford, Sioux Falls. It was a movie, actually. That's freaking cool. Yeah. So are all the parts? Do it? Oh, they're back there. Oh, they got boxes and boxes. They got boxes and boxes, and boxes but you know we're gonna need gaskets and trims and nuts Typical and stuff. bolts and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Look at the Mustangs they make everything. Those are the first wheels I ever bought ever in my life when I was drag 15 start. years old. Drag stars. Well, drag stars. So neither cars have AC because they're from up here. But other than that, this is a true GT. Yeah, this is yeah. a this is a tack clock power steering power brake car GT. So it has some cool stuff. It was a nice car before they took it apart. Yeah, what? The, it looks like that I stuff mean, was in pretty good shape. You, that stuff was, but it looks like we have some rust repair. Yeah, that. But I mean, like the doors and the fenders and the hood and everything looks like in excellent condition. Well, no, you really should look up close to them because. They're not rusty at all. No. And like I was telling them, their idea of rust up here is completely different than ours. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in California, if they have a bubble down at the bottom for us, yeah, like they, 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 the... they start crying. I don't think they pass inspection if no. they have a rust bubble. <laughs> but these things are super solid. Yeah, super cool. dry. I, yeah, it's, it's, he must have just wanted to start with fresh metal. I mean. Yeah, and even today, the doors are still. I mean, it's got a little bit in the corner, but that's not worth. That's changing not the worth door. changing the door. And this it's still got the tag on it. I mean, for ten bucks, I guess you'd pick up that door. I yep. Think that's a '67. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it definitely has all the, and the parts. headlight buckets for them, the quarter extensions. Yeah, I think you're just gonna have fine rustling up all the inner door panel or bolts. Yeah, we can just back, we can just back like the trailer that. right if up. These are all holes. We load those. Yeah, so that's they have all of yeah. it. Bumpers. And it looks like you got a nice motor over here. That's supposed to be rebuilt and ready to rock and roll. Yes, it is. And the one, the white car runs and drives. Let me take a look at that real quick. Sorry. That's but a yeah, nice it's motor. Nice aluminum heads, aluminum heads, cool. aluminum intake. Did we check the number? Yeah, the number doesn't match. It's a 68302, but it's not the right. It's not the right one? No, I was it's hoping. 68, it's right here, but wrong. Yeah. yeah. And that's a C4, because C6 looks a little different. Cool. The bumper we got. So do we have, or actually, let me back that up. Do y'all have enough room? Yeah, we got enough room. But we'll just make sure it's bolted on without, and then we'll load these up, and then we'll put the rest of the parts in one of the trailers. Let me tell you what I'm up against. Um, let's step outside for a second. Okay. So, uh, I promised him that we wouldn't talk uh, price. Yeah, we did. So, if you guys want to buy them. No, we're good. Okay. Then, let's get them loaded and do all of that. Yeah. And then, uh, everybody will be happy. So, uh, let's get cranking on that. Just get Kick ass, guys. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Good to see you. And, uh, Thank we'll, you, uh, you guys get to do all the hard work because I'm late. Is this just this guy's uh, hobby shop? Yeah. Hangs out? Hangs yeah. Out. That's what my place is starting to be. <laughs> I just kind of hang out. <laughs> People come by, they're like, Richard, it's, it's freaking noon and you're drinking. I'm like, I don't even care what day it is. 
All right, let's do it. Let's go. Wow. Oh, shit. This is just a small collection of these. At Brian Hobbs. Brian, Richard Rocks. Richard How you doing, man? How are you? How you doing? Very cool. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Can I just move in? <laughs> uh, I'm Troy. Nice Vegas. to meet you. I'm Hi. Troy. Nice to meet you. This is Tony. Hey, nice to meet you. This is my son, Davis. Hi, Davis. How are you? Good. How are you? Cruising nice kettle corn. <laughs> this looks like something that would hang oh, out makes, really well in your shop. Yeah, you take it and make popcorn with <laughs> it. I need a cruising kettle corn thing. Imagine how much corn I can sell to all the people that come by. <laughs> Look at that pump. That's my first car right there. Really? Yeah, yep. <laughs> it was a fleet line? Yep. That's oh, awesome. Yeah. You know, the first car we ever built as Gas Monkey Garage was a 52 fleet line. Was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, we chopped it, and uh, I ended up buying Every time I needed you money, I sold it. Man? And every time I had money, I bought it back. And then <laughs> I finally have it now forever. Uh, I've had it for about 10 years now. Yeah. Wow, look at this Is that a GTO underneath the cover? Oh, no challenger, yes, sir, so. That's what I thought. This so those is cool. Two, I haven't seen one in this they're... condition in a long time. Where did your uh, I think I'm too young to have ever seen one. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I should have never sold the one that I had up in Minnesota. And I did. I really want that machine. He ended up selling it, but... He sent us some pictures. Look different than this, though. This is yeah, older. This is a Ford. Right? Yeah, it's like a '50s Ford. Yeah. What is this? This is the driver's ed. It's driver's education, Le learning. Learning. That's so it's got a flathead in it. No, no, there's no more. No more. Oh, okay. Class like a simulator. Yeah. They, they did the those, old school they simulators. Did this is like this is how you turn the lights on. This is how you shift. You know, Look at the three on the tree. Nineteen fifty gauge Ford. Yeah. Yeah. Ashes thirty-five footer. That's the longest shovel board I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, they shit, I didn't even see that. Oh, and they figured out they wouldn't go in anywhere. <laughs> so then they cut them down to 28 foot. Oh, my God. And then they made them 22 foot regulation. And that's one of the, that's one of the rare 28 footers. So that's a 28, not 35. Very cool. I see a 62 bubble top. I'm not going to turn down a free beer, sir. I would give you some garage beer, but we don't have it in this state yet. So is the bubble top? Whatever state I'm in. The bubble top? State of not having a beer. I don't think anything. I'm kidding. We saw it first. Get to see all this cool shit and get a free beer? I'm staying. No. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Look at that one hander. For that? Is this a 52 also? So cool. I've had this, uh, well, bought it on our, on our uh, 20th anniversary. I tell you what, I'll double what you paid for it. <laughs> I'm just going to go out on a limb and throw it out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Back then it was probably what, 4,500? No, I do that's freaking cool, though. I've always wanted this body style convertible, and I've never gotten one. And uh, they're starting to, to come back down a little bit. They got real high for a while. Now they're kind of medium. But uh, the split screen, you know, that's just so cool. Short bed's cool, too. What's up with that? Big block, big block 402. Got the keystones on it. Yeah, I put them on there. God, Lee, see, you just never know. No, you're just right around the corner in little bitty town, little bitty nowhere. Guy's got more cool shit than I do. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think you got me beat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yakking about Mopar? <laughs> Damn Mopar, guys. Oh, you got one? And all this, you got uh -oh. one? 2010, 13,000 miles, six Wow. Months. Wow. That's a pretty car. And you can look at it like you put it in the back or you put it in the front. Yes. Because yes. there's the door to go out. So you know he's driving that Just one unbelievable. once in a while. These cars, when they're dialed in, drive like just unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, they, they just float and they're fast and responsive. Is this a 2-4 car? No. No. Go ahead. This is my business car. This car. Well, we need to call him and ask him if he wants to sell that. Do that. 62. 
Oh, no, it's it is 61. a 1. It's 61. 61. 61. Because they only did a bone top on a Bel Air in 62. 62, yeah. Yeah. Do you see that Bel Air wagon, or the Nomad wagon I got the other day, 61? One yeah, year old? Yeah, we saw that. That was crazy. This is a pretty bubble top. Yeah, it is. These cars are hard to beat. Is this a factory black car? I'm not sure, Richard. It's uh, some guy that rents a place for us. Oh, uh, okay. We need to ask him if that's for sale, too. Oh, those are so cool. Oh, it's got a big block in it, too. Big block four speed. But I have a feeling you're fixing to show me the sled. <laughs> oh, we never made it back. So we're looking at the oh, that's a Grabber Blue 70. Davis and I went and looked at it. Yeah. She's, she Do you know anything about it? Up here. It's been in here for about 96 years. What motor was it? Nine yeah. or six years or 96 see. years? <laughs> 96 years. <laughs> it's got a little rust in it. Yeah. Is it a four speed? I think it is a four speed. Man, four from what I've seen out here, what it do takes you three years to have a little, yeah, rather, a little bit more rust than you need. I'm going to put a loan or a lean on it and get a title for it. Because the guy can't pay for it, so. The only hard part is getting it out of here. I'd be interested for that. Oh, he put it in storage or something? Yeah, he put it in storage and put one back in 86. Let me see if I can see the front end. See the storm oh, I don't think it's a boss or anything. That's the storage for the guy for since the 80s? I think we take a little bit of digging. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, okay, so it's got some parts missing off of it. Wow. That's cool. cool. Everything. Could be neat. Who Sorry, knows? Just yeah. Yeah, Griswold, back Griswold. In the <laughs> oh, you got her decorated up and everything. Yeah, he saw her. <laughs> oh, yeah, the dead lady in the Yeah, I saw the top <laughs> there. You got the old that. lady on top and everything. Oh, that's been in all the parades around. <laughs> there you go, Dave. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> What'd you get so far? The Evil Canoe? I got the Cafe Light and the Evil Canoe. Evil Canoe? Uh, and both of those are going to go to the bar in the Sturgis. Oh, so ah, there sweet. you go. Easy. Yeah, we'll, we'll take those for a lot closer to the ship. <laughs> decoration. Yeah. Sir, thank you very much for this place. Uh, we got to get a light, get the machine, and you can get back with me on the short bed truck and the Riviera and the Pulsar. Cool. I'll come back with a whole swarm of trailers. Uh, I'm just buying a whole place right now. Maybe we'll work that deal for August. Maybe. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Onward to another state. Where are we going now? Nebraska? All right, so this is my favorite part. You guys get to do the work, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Well, y'all are flying out in the morning, uh, and uh, I got to get out today, so I got a two hour drive ahead of us. And we have a little bit of a drive back to Texas, so. Yep. I Looks like you got some other deals. Out. They are. Yeah. We're going the same, air are. The yep. same airport you're flying out of. All right, well, I'm hauling ass and uh, going to get back. Uh, We'll work out the mathematics. It was just a little quirky because they, they wanted to keep it quiet. So we'll figure it out. You got it. Yeah, Going no to problem. a good home. Absolutely. And, uh, happy hunting. Absolutely. Yes, you too. Keep us, hey, keep keep look at that sign. Right. These guys are we appreciate it. Good. They're getting the cars before I <laughs> Not this one. Yeah, that. everybody wins. Everybody's winning. Everybody. Thank you again, guys. Thanks, guys. Safe travels. Damn, that's like Survivor Interior. That's original. Yeah. See that? Original interior in that kind of condition. This is the taillight assembly. And instead of like having to wrap it, pack it somewhere, we're gonna put the car together as much as we can right now. Save some shipping scariness.
We appreciate you helping us with getting everything loaded up. Um, we'll get these back to Texas. Yeah, absolutely. We've, uh, we've enjoyed it. It was fun. Well, you guys could meet you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thanks. Maybe we'll see you in. Uh, we're, we're planning on going to the Houston one anyway. Yeah, I got so maybe his we'll numbers. So I'll give you a holler. Yeah, we'll yeah. see you down there.